Okay, today we will be continuing our lesson by giving you more examples on the second shifting theorem. Let's start our uh, discussion by solving the Laplace transform of e raised to t plus 2 multiplied by sine of t plus 1. Now, take note, this is the Laplace transform now, that can be solved using the second shifting theorem that we have discussed a uh, um, few days ago. Now, to solve this problem, all you have to do is to make the amount of shift the same. Like, for the exponential function, there should have t plus 1. And for sine function, there should be uh, a shifting of t of one unit. Now, to do this, we are going to take out or we are going to split 2 into 1 plus 1. Okay. Can you see uh, over here? I split out uh, 2 to become 1 and 1. Okay. Now, next, we are going to uh, take out the exponential function e raised to 1. Take note. Um, this uh, 1 here now can be taken out by uh, factoring out e raised to 1. Now, since e raised to 1 is a constant term, we can put that outside your Laplace transform sign. Okay, now, inside your Laplace transform sign, you have the first shifting, uh, the second shifting theorem, I mean. So, in that case, you, will, you have to find the value of a, the value of f of t plus a, the value of ft, and of course, you are going to take the Laplace transform of ft to make it f of s. Alright, now, in this case, now a is equals to negative 1. Okay, as shown there, a is the amount of shift, meaning to say that is your a equals to negative one, that's your a. And your function of t plus 1 is equal to e raised to t plus 1 multiplied by sine t plus 1. Now, if we are going to remove the amount of shift in your function of t plus 1, the result would be f of t equals to e raised to t sine of t. In this case, no, this is in the form of the first shifting theorem. Can you still recall your first shifting theorem? So, all you have to do is take the Laplace transform of this to solve for f of s. So, the Laplace transform of e raised to t sine t is just the same as 1 all over s squared plus 1, where s, s here becomes s minus 1. So, s minus 1, you substitute that to your s, the result would be s minus 1 quantity squared plus 1. That will be your final answer. Next. Okay. Recall, now that, that is not yet your final answer, I mean. Now recall your second shifting theorem. Now your second shifting theorem is equals to the Laplace transform of the function of t minus a multiplied by t my, uh, u t minus a. That is just the same as e raised to a s multiplied by f of s. Now, what are we going to do next? Next is to substitute your function that will become e raised to 1 multiplied by the Laplace transform of e raised to 2t multiplied by sine of t plus 1. So, that will become uh, e raised to s plus 1 multiplied by your function of s, which is s minus 1 quantity squared plus 1. Um, please, no, try to solve this in your piece of paper. Okay? Try to solve this in your piece of paper if you, you can have, if you can arrive with the same answer as what is shown here. Okay? For our next problem, we have the Laplace transform of sine uh, of t minus pi. So, this is the Laplace transform of e raised to t sine of t minus pi. Now, the solution here, uh, we, I will show you two ways to solve this problem. First, we are going to expand the sine function. 
So how do we, do we expand the sine function? So since we have sine t minus pi, okay, to expand that, 